Hello friend, I am Nilo and today we will discuss about the function. Now what is a function? As given here, a relation f from a to b is called a function. If every element in a has a unique image in b. Now what is an unique image? To understand this, we will take this problem. Now here given f equal to x uh, is a set of x and y and x belongs to a and y belongs to b and given y equal to x square and from this relation we can check that if x equal to 1 we will get y equal to 1 now you can see that 1 belongs to a and the and y equal to 1 this also belongs to b so for 1 we have only an one answer that is one Im image you can see that for 2 there is only one answer of y that is 4 Similarly for x equal to 3 there is a unique solution that is y equal to 9 You can see from this The and one important things that is the function is sometimes called as mapping You can map 3 to 9 and for 4 you can map it to 16 So you can see that for each element in a we have only one unique image in b So this is called function now if such types of mapping you find in anywhere you can directly say that this is not a function but why because here you can see that for a single element of a we have two image in b but as far as our definition there must be a unique image so this doesn't hold our definition so it is not a function to remember this let us consider the first set as a set of son and the second set as the set of father now you can see that let us assume x1 being a son so x1 may have only one father that is y1 but from the mapping we can see that x1 have two father which is biologically not possible so this is not a function now in this case x1 and x2 are two son so it is possible that x1 and x2 may have the, may have one father that is the their father is same that is x1 and x2 both are brother it is possible so this is a function now another important thing is the domain what is domain domain is the value of x that is the used element in the set a. now you can see that all these element are used so 1 2 3 and 4 is a domain and range range is the used of element in the set b that is the value of y so 1 4 9 and 16 are the used of element in b so this is the range And remember that is the set B is called codomain. Either this is independent of the range. So one thing to remember is that the, that is a range may consist of all the element of a codomain, but it is not necessary that the codomain is always equal to range. Here the codomain is the set B. That is it include 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. This codomain 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. Let us take an example. Here it is given to find the domain and range of the real function fx equal to 1 minus 1 by 1 minus x square. So we know that the domain is the value of x. Now to check for which values of x the function is defined so we can write fx is not defined when if the denominator equal to 0 if the denominator is equal to 0 then the function isn't defined so x 
स्क्वायर इक्वल टू वन और एक्स इक्वल टू प्लस माइनस वन दस वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट फॉर एक्स इक्वल टू प्लस वन एंड माइनस वन द फंक्शन एफ एक्स इज एन डिफाइन सो द डोमेन ऑफ द फंक्शन इज टू आर माइनस माइनस वन एंड वन दिस इंडिकेट दैट द वेल्यू ऑफ x can be any real number except minus one and one because for minus one in the function we will get this in the form of one by zero which is undefined and similarly for one we will get this in the form of one by zero which is also undefined so the domain is the value of x now we have to find the range for to find the range let us assume y equal to f x. Or f x is given as one by one minus x square. Or we can write one minus x square equal to one by y. Or x square can be written as one minus one by y. Or x equal to root under one by root under one minus one by y. Now we can say that x is not defined like previously. We can say this x is not defined when this part is less than zero. Because if this part is less than zero, so under the root we will get a negative value. So the answer is an imaginary value. So we can say that x isn't defined when one minus one by y is less than zero, or we can write this as this, or one should be greater than y, or y is y must be less than one. That is. Y be y doesn't belongs to minus infinity to one, so the range of f equal to r minus minus infinity to one. This indicate that the value of y is any values of real number excluding the value in between minus infinity to one. With this, I will end our today's lecture. Hope you will like this, and you can find more of these videos in our playlist. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel which will motivate us to make more of these videos. Thank you.